Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Memories Dogma Code 01. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on top of the video to watch previous episodes to get caught up. I hesitate a little bit at Aoi-san's question, but I look her in the eyes and say, I tell her about how I went to the Connect Center yesterday to talk with Serrano's memories and all the events that transpired afterwards. The more I talked, the more I could see Aoi-san's expression darken. それで、空野が亡くなった本当の理由が知りたいということね。Yes. After thinking for a bit, Aoi-san says apologetically, 正直なところ、ちょっと抵抗があるかな? Aww. そうですか。まだ今の状況に気持ちが追いついてないっていうのかな。Oh, yeah, but that's a problem there, though. We, we, we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't know how long, like, you accepting the reality of it is going to take. ちゃんと決心がつくときまで待ってもらっていいかな。ごめんなさい。we don't have time. Honestly, it's only natural for Aoi's son to feel this way. I apologetically bow my head. いえ、俺の方こそ無理を言って済みません。うん。部屋には好きなだけいてくれていいから。見たいものがあるなら自由に見て行ってね。ちょっと仕事が残ってて、私は自分の部屋にいるから何かあったら呼んで。Gotcha. Aoi-san speaks quickly before turning her back to us and leaving the room. I swear I see tears glistening in the corners of Aoi-san's eyes as she leaves the room. Reina notices as well. Aoi... Naiteta. Aww. Sorano to Aoi-san. Honto ni naka ga yokatta nda. Goryoshin wa mou 10 nen ijou mai ni naku natte te. Zutto futari de seikatsu shite tanda yo. That's even worse. I, I don't know. It's that's so horrible though. Like you have you have a sister with you, right? And and she you know, it, it's not lively anymore. She's alone in this house every day now and man, that quiet that that quietness must be really unbearable. <laughs> Well, more or less, yeah, since, you know, she's she's not really accepting it. Having seen firsthand how Aoi-san feels about all this, I can only hang my head. Reina points at the large mound of stuffed cats on the shelf. Hmm. Wow. He speaks the truth. So yo. I respond by Whoa 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 whoa. Okay. Saying words of thanks, blushing shyly looking away, talking about my memories of Serrano. Aww. Reina brushes it off like it was nothing. 
I've noticed that Reyna's pretty blunt. But sometimes that can be a good thing. It's unfortunate, but there's nothing more we can do here. As I open the door to leave the room, I see Aoi-san standing right outside. Seeing me, her eyes open wide in surprise for a moment, but then she smiles sadly. Sorano,の部屋に友達が来てくれるのは久しぶりだなと思ったら、なんだか離れがたくて。また来ます。今度は掛けるも連れて。そうね。Sorano も、きっと喜ぶと思う。Me, Kakeru, and Sorano. The three of us all will never gather in a room like this again. That opportunity has been lost to us forever. But even then, we still might come back here again one day to hang out. I'm not sure, but it's definitely better than leaving Aoi-san here alone forever. Yeah. Reluctantly, I leave Serrano's room. Ah. <sighs> The sun is still shining brightly outside. Looks like today is going to be a hot day. We say our farewells to Aoi-san and leave the house. For a while, all I do is just walk around aimlessly. Reina, who's been walking silently with me the whole time, suddenly opens her mouth. Hmm. As she says that, Reina glances back and forth between my face and her own feet before finally gathering her courage. Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't once been to the place where Serrano died. No, it might be better to say I couldn't go. やっぱりそうだよな。ひろきにとっては辛いと思うけれど。いや、レイナの言う通りだと思う。ああ。Reina oh. is very very knowledgeable like intellectually, uh psychologically and also emotionally. She she understands a lot of things and that is very impressive. Huh, that's super impressive. Because for me, uh, my assumption is that like prodigies, or like they, they, they grow up, or not, they, uh, they're just intellectually very smart. Like, like it's, like it's, it's a little, I don't know how it is now, because I know before, I don't know, it's just, from what I've heard in such and such, it's just like, you, you, you don't feel like you know you're you're part of everyone else more or less because you're you're skipping grades, you're all of that, and you're very young compared to all the college students and stuff like that. And it's just, yeah, you're just emotionally not connected more or less, right? I mean, it depends on the people where where and everything, but it must be it it's it must be tough for for people. So, I'm just saying, but, you know, uh, here, Reyna is just everything. She's just, well, like, really well balanced out. So. It seems like Reyna looks uh, just a little relieved. I can't believe how pathetic I'm being when she was the one who had to worry about what she was saying. As I answer the question, suddenly... Oh, who are you? I turn around in the direction of the voice and see a girl wearing a pink jacket and a mini skirt standing behind me. Okay, who are you again? I don't know who you are. Who are you? Just 
とい,いかな No, we don't. As she says that, she touches the MRD on her left wrist, and an AR display pops up in front of us. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no, she's a police officer. What? Wait, hold on. She, she looks very young. Like. Like as young as Reyna, and she's a police officer? Affiliation Second Investigation Unit, Criminal Personnel Unit. Okay. Kanzaki Haruna. So, Alright, let's click on the power of the law. Where is the amount of authority? Any specific state wields can also be used to refer to national organizations that wield a similar amount of power. Okay. Did you seriously just say that? I look back at Reyna. She's at a loss for words. Thoroughly unable to believe what she just heard. Uh, yeah, about this. It, if it's about me, I can't, I cannot help. This girl is really pushy. The police officer calling herself Haruna smiles and steps closer to us. We reflexively moved one step back. Yeah, it's a little too close. Back up, ma'am. Rena asked somewhat reluctantly. Hmm. Well, that's a big no no on your part then. We're just gonna skedaddle out of here. <sighs> Noticing Reina's rather sharp glare, Haruna shrugs her shoulders. Uh-huh. Haruna coughs a bit to clear her throat and lowers her tone a little before she starts talking. Hmm. We'll and we'll find out what she wants to say in the next episode of Memories Dogma Code 01. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust her, guys. I don't trust her at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!